Hello there everybody, this is Yus here and today I have for you another random Pokemon generator Wi-Fi battle against the game Dreamer and yeah, you can see down there the team that I got, I got a Pidgey, I got a Jigglypuff, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but it all depends on what he got, oh yeah, I also got a, a Nidoran female, god damn it, anyways, so yeah. Uh, the Game Dreamer loves random battles. Random battles are cool in Gen 1, because, yeah, I don't know, I, they're, they're cool, they're really cool, because you don't know what, what's gonna happen, and any times, every time something crazy ends up happening, so he's gonna get a Primeape, and I have Pidgey, because flying types are super effective against fighting, no, no, no that's not gonna, that doesn't work like that. <laughs> <laughs> that really doesn't work like that. He has Rock Slide, and that's gonna... Ooh, I'm actually gonna take it. I'm gonna go for Double Edge, and that did absolutely nothing. So, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna just stay in, because... Yeah, Pidgey's a Pidgey. God damn it, man. Anyways, I'm gonna go into Haunter. I'm gonna try to put something to sleep. And, uh, yeah, because... I don't know, Haunter can be a really good Pokemon in this format. Because ghost typing is really good, and uh, it doesn't matter if it's not fully evolved. The hunter also has the really good coverage. So, in comes the rock slide. He's gonna decide to stay in, surprisingly, but I'm gonna miss my hypnosis. So I'm gonna take more damage, and the second one is luckily not gonna miss. So I'm just gonna go for T balls and try to get some damage there. So, and we'll see what's gonna. We'll see what's gonna end up from there, so... In comes Arcanine, I'm like, wow. I end up getting the Paralysis with Thunderbolt, but... Wow. How am I gonna deal with Arcanine with the Pokémon I got? So I'm gonna switch into Jigglypuff. And he burned me with flame with Fire Blast, I'm like... God. 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 Because Fire Blast in this gen is like Scalding in the newer gens. I mentioned this before, it's like... The chances to get a burn is like the exact same one. So I'm gonna get a crit on the Fero. I mean Spiro, not just Fero. And Double Edge is actually gonna kill me from that range, which is which is crazy. So in comes my eradicate, I'm gonna take down the Spiro. And uh, yeah, let's see what's gonna come in. At this point he has like a paralyzed Arcanine, he has a sleeping primate, he also has a Tangela. And I don't know what I'm, how I'm gonna deal with Tangela, so I'm gonna go into my this thing, expecting the sleep powder, and just start firing off some blizzards and see what's gonna happen from there. So he's gonna switch, he's gonna send in his Psyduck that did absolutely nothing, I also didn't get the freeze, and uh, I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt. But I missaved this Pokemon for some reason, and... Yeah, because when I made this Pokemon, it was a Nidoqueen that I reverted back to a Nidoran female. And that's gonna cost me big time, because he's gonna... First he's gonna go for Amnesia, so Thunderbolt isn't gonna do anything. And then, he's gonna go for Surf. And it's gonna be a one-hit KO, and it's gonna say that it's super effective. So I basically kept the ground typing for, on it by accident, and that's gonna end up... That's gonna end up costing me. So yeah, Eradicate got upset and he's gonna hyper beam the Psyduck and he's gonna send them Al Carré. Cause that was ridiculous. I hate when that happens and I hate when I make that mistake, but it, it happens. It's just easier to, when you get like, not fully evolved Pokemon, it's easier to make them by reverting the, the final forms, but... You, you just have to be careful. You have to be careful of things like that. Anyways, in comes the Tangela. I have nothing against this, I'm just hoping that he'll miss his sleep powder, I'm gonna go for blizzard and he didn't miss it, and I'm gonna be put to sleep, uh, I'm just gonna stay in, I'm gonna hope to wake up, but I'm gonna wake up and then he's gonna stun spore expecting me to switch, so that, that worked out pretty well I guess, because now he's not gonna be able to put me to sleep again, which is, which is really good, right? So I'm just gonna stay in, just keep going for blizzards, and see what's gonna happen. He's probably gonna go into his Arcanine or something uh, to take the Blizzard because I'm Eradicate and Eradicate has like no special at all. So yeah, we'll see what's gonna happen. Uh, I could have gone for Body Slam expecting the switch. I really should have gotten for the Body Slam. Um, 
But I'm pretty sure I didn't because I just wanted to take down the Tangela. Taking down a Tangela is really great because Tangela is a problem, but as you can see, yeah, in comes the Arcanine and Blizzard did absolutely nothing. 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 So I have Cafebo, Hunter, and Radicate left. I was thinking about my situation and I was like, yeah, I really should just stay in and go for Hyper Beam. Hopefully at that range it will kill, even though I doubt it. But I went for it. And it didn't kill. And that's really bad because now I'm not gonna be able to move the other turn, the next one. And that's that basically means the end of my Radicate. God damn it. I really should have gotten for the Body Slam. I really should have. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing! Help! Anyways, I'm gonna send in Haunter, I'm gonna Thunderbolt it, and that's the end of the Arcanine. And uh, now in comes his Tangela back, and I was like, I don't wanna deal with this. And since I don't wanna... Whenever I don't wanna deal with something, you know what that means, right? You know exactly what that means. Yep. I selected it. Yep. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I don't know why I was th what I was waiting for, but I clicked it. I clicked the move. I clicked the move. The move was clicked. I wanna take care of the Tangela and I wanna send it Al Carré, because that thing is a problem. So now I only have Michael Fable left, and he only has a Pokemon that he hasn't revealed yet and a Sleeping Primeape. And the Pokemon that he hasn't revealed yet is a Dragonair. And that's. Oh my god. You know what that means, right? You know exactly what that means. That means he's gonna be spamming rap, and I'm gonna be praying, praying that he's gonna miss, and that I'm gonna be able to finish him off. That's the situation, so there you go. Rapping is gonna start. Because if I manage, somehow, to take down the Dragonair, I can easily take care of the Primeape, because it's just a Primeape and it's asleep. So, anything can take care of it. So, he missed a wrap. There's the Blizzard, it's gonna... it's a 2 hit KO. So, I only need him to miss wrap. I only need him to miss wrap, and then this game is mine. So, let's see what's gonna happen. He's still not missing wrap. I don't like the odds, man. I don't like the odds. Oh man, this is so painful, please end my torture and miss, for the love of god. And the attack still continues, 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 and that's... I don't like it. I'm gonna be sent al carrer. No, I'm really low in health. Yeah, no. Al carrer. I went al carrer. That rap was too much, I couldn't handle it sadly, and that's the game, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it was really fun, even though rap, yeah. And uh, I will see you guys next time, have a wonderful day, and allons -y.